Right about now, we're having a conversation on financial well-being. Hata yo chama uko, Mr. Emperor Sheka, you need financial well-being. You need to know how to uh, budget your income, how to invest with a minimum income. I know you're a man who earns a lot, but for those guys who are earning a minimum income or have pesa kidogo kidogo hivi, how do you invest it? How do you make yourself financially literate, financially healthy, and financially wealthy? So that's the conversation I'm having here with Miss Sheila Mboga, who's joining me here on the show for the first time. And uh, I'd like her to introduce herself and also before we get into this conversation. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Richard. All right. I'm super excited to be here. As you mentioned, my name is Sheila Mboga. I am a financial literacy consultant, um, certified from the United States of America. And also, I'm the co-founder of Financial Wellness Center. Right an organization that helps people learn money principles that can help them achieve their money goals. Financial wellness. If yes. uh, I'm hearing that word for the first time, what do I need to know? I need to know whether I am financially well, I guess, or <laughs> not. So how do I know if my financial wellness is, in, is on point? You know your financial wellness is on point when you are able to live with, within your means. Mm -hmm. You are able to achieve your goals without stressing yourself mm. too much and you are able to live a comfortable life. Right. You are healthy financially. Mm -hmm. The way we say I'm healthy in terms I'm losing weight, I have good health. You also need uh, to, to identify or check that your finances are healthy. Mm -hmm. You are having a working relationship with mm -hmm. your money. Why, why, why is financial education important? I know we were not taught this in school, which mm -hmm. um, just keeps coming up over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, well, at least for the Kenyan education system, I during my time, mm -hmm. I did not get financial education mm -hmm. uh, in my classes. Mm -hmm. Is it important? And why is it important? Absolutely. It's very important to acquire financial education because we handle money every single day. Mm -hmm. And money is a tool that can help or hurt you. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, due to lack of financial education, most people have been hurt by money. Mm -hmm. This comes in form of they are in debt. They are not able to save. They are not able to invest. That is being hurt by money. So it, that tells you it's very important to acquire financial education because it uh, helps you to achieve your financial goals, be able to live a financial healthy life, mm -hmm. and be able to, you know, it will lead to a spillover effect. Mm -hmm. We'll not have financial stress, mm -hmm. which will in turn result to you being able to do the things that you are called to do right. and be able to impact lives. Where do I begin? To get financial education, do me me up. I have <laughs> no knowledge, yeah. if or for someone else, right, mm -hmm. who doesn't have knowledge on financial education. Where do they begin, even? Uh, you begin by visiting Financial Wellness Center. <laughs> of course, <laughs> plug it in. <laughs> yeah, you begin by visiting Financial Wellness Center, where we do a te we run a test for you okay. to identify where do you start from. Because uh, you find that most people they've heard about saving, they've heard about investing, they've heard about budgeting, but they don't know how to do it. No, when we are able to tell, okay, you are you know you know about saving and budgeting, but now you are at the action stage. So that is where we start like building your foundation, letting you know budget, a budget is not your enemy. Mm -hmm. It's actually something that is going to guide you. Mm -hmm. So we start with shifting your mindset first. Because, mm -hmm. you know, anything starts in the mind because right. before it can manifest. Mm -hmm. Then we now put you into our sessions where you can be able to now learn mm -hmm. financial principles. Then we release you into action mm -hmm. where we now tell you this is the this is how our budget should look like mm -hmm. now we need you to do it for at least two weeks right. or one month right. then we keep on following up until we ensure you we have helped you build positive money habits right we're going to get into that conversation on mm -hmm. uh, you know the whole process on what you do yeah. um, over there mm -hmm. but now for people who are in business and the ones who are watching want to get into business yeah. they also need to have financial education mm -hmm. How would you say they will apply this financial education in their entrepreneurship journey mm -hmm. or in their uh, bid to start a business? Uh, when it comes to business, you know, uh, what affects a business very much is your bookkeeping. Mm. 
Okay. You could be having an amazing business. You're making profits, but at the end of the day, you can't even tell where the money is going. Okay. That clearly tells you there's an issue with your bookkeeping. And this is where you need to learn about bookkeeping, which is part of financial education. Mm -hmm. So you have to be educated on, okay, it's not just about you making profits. It's about mm -hmm. you understanding what are my expenses. Do I have cash flow? Uh, do I uh, Have I insured uh, the money that I get? Do I invest for my business? Because we are in a, in, a, in a world where people just think investing is for themselves, not their business. Mm. And again, you find some entrepreneurs, they mix business money and personal money. Right, true. I'm not sure if you're into business, but if you are into business, do you pay yourself a salary? Um, well, the time I was in business, which collapsed uh, due to reasons beyond my control, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying myself. I was uh, fully, uh, the money was fully circulating within the business. And that is where you also dip to pay your home rent, right. house bill, Definitely, water, my fare, my yeah, everything, fair. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you find that if you do not have financial education, you'll find yourself falling into such a trap. Ah, okay. Whereby you're mixing your business and personal finances, mm -hmm. which in turn, you may not be able to realize your business is growing. Mm -hmm. So you find someone saying, I've been in this business for four years, but it's and not growing. And I'm not growing. seeing anything. Yes. But mm -hmm. the thing is, the business has been growing. It's only that the finances were not put in in order so should someone get uh, a person or an expert to uh, do the financial part of the business or it's something that you know as a founder as a mm -hmm. CEO as mm -hmm. a sole entrepreneur mm -hmm. it's something you can uh, it's skills that you can acquire and uh, you know navigate through yeah um, I would say if you are starting out it will depend with the capital kind of uh, you're starting with mm. for example maybe you're just starting with 50,000 okay. that is where you need to buy your stock and everything I would recommend you start by self education for okay. finances mm. we have YouTube you may visit our YouTube channel which is financial wellness with Sheila Mboga mm -hmm. where you watch videos on how to handle finances in business okay you may visit we also have an entrepreneurs Academy mm -hmm. where we solely deal with entrepreneurs only mm -hmm. and teach them the basic six before they can be uh, launched into business okay so you need to at least acquire that however if you have the financial capacity mm -hmm. we highly recommend that you hire someone a financial consultant or a business consultant mm -hmm. who can guide you through so that you don't start a business and six months down the line it has collapsed okay. because of money yes. all right yeah okay so now for an individual before we um, div, uh, dive so much into business for an individual who uh, I had asked earlier when we were starting the show on you know how people manage their finances or invest when they have minimum income or mm -hmm. they are on a tight budget mm -hmm. is it possible for you know someone to invest with little as little as I don't know 1,000 Bob 2,000 Bob um, is there a way to still you know grow that money through the financial education that they have or that they can get from you on fi in financial wellness with uh, Sheila Mboga uh, if they get that information is it possible for them to invest any amount of money regardless of the, the whether it's tiny or large absolutely yes uh, I always say when you come to financial wellness center nothing is impossible mm. we take the little money you have and find a way you can invest it okay. now back to your question you can invest with as little as 1,000 Kenya shilling and mm -hmm. that is if you are looking into uh, uh, investment tools like money market funds mm -hmm. that don't require a lot of capital mm -hmm. for you to start mm -hmm. so I, I would say nobody should say they cannot invest okay while we may not say you can do it every month, I always say you can start by having a saving strategy. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm one person who says, don't just save because you've seen people saving. Mm. Have an objective. Right. So you can say, okay, I'm earning 15,000, my rent is 10,000, maybe fair and all that takes 3,000, I remain with 2,000. Now I can give myself like six months. I'm going to save 1,000 every month. In six months, you have 6,000. You get into things like a money market fund that requires a 1,000. So you start with a 5,000 kind of capital. Right. You'll be able to save, to okay. invest. So mm -hmm. you will start by saving with the goal of investing. Mm -hmm. okay. You don't just save then, at the end of six months, you're throwing a bash yeah, to like, consume yeah. all the Guys, things. Guys, you save, you to save. Yeah, so um, I always say there is no little money you cannot save, okay. you cannot invest, but you, ha you need to have a strategy. Okay, so 
A question is, mm -hmm. you have uh, entrepreneurship classes, you said. Yes. And how does this happen? How can people join that? Yeah, we do have them on uh, virtually because uh, we have uh, members from all over the world. Okay. As I'm, uh, uh, just to highlight, Financial Wellness Center operates in uh, UAE and Kenya. Okay. So our customers or our audience are spread. Mm -hmm. Now, for Entrepreneurs Academy, we host it virtually via Zoom mm -hmm. as well as uh, WhatsApp. So if you would, if one if someone would want to attend, they can uh, just send us a message and we'll book them. Mm -hmm. However, if you'd want to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, kind of session, we also do that still virtually via Zoom. What do they expect in these classes? When you attend our class, you expect your mindset to be shifted because mm -hmm. business is not just business. Mm -hmm. You have to look the part before you can do the part. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll work on your mindset. Mm -hmm. We'll also help you understand the business basics before you can begin this is bookkeeping how you need to retain your customers mm. how to make your brand to be preferred and how to have a competitive edge in the market right now after we've done that we'll now lead you we'll take you now to the next session whereby we are now doing the practicals what is a balance sheet how do you access credit how do you take debt or should you take debt to to go for a vacation because you've been working for six months or you should take it and pump it back until your business is able to sustain. What should you do to be able to break even your business before you can, uh, in, in, a, in the minimum time possible? Mm. That is what we'll cover there. Mm. And then to help you, uh, now we know by that time you have built your muscles, we need to help you retain your customers. Now we will now um, help you learn about loyalty programs for your customers. We'll also help you learn about customer service or just service excellence. All right. Because people, the way you treat them, the way you treat your employees matters and affects your, the success of your business. Mm. And afterwards, you also treat you how to pay yourself. Mm. Because if you do not learn how to pay, how to yourself, pay yourself, which is one of those reasons my business collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so if you do not learn how to pay yourself, you mm. find that you're mixing up business money with personal issues. Mm. So we'll have to help you learn that so that the money you earn, you can now put yourself in a salary. Mm. Or if your business is not yet stable to put you under a salary, then you will have to find a way that you can use that, uh, you can put your personal bills mm. to reflect in your, uh, in your business uh, expenses. How long did you say this takes? the entrepreneurship class it usually takes uh two months okay and if you really like need us to offer you like after sale services or like extra services it mm. would take like six months mm. or you can still hire us to just be your business consultancy team okay we'll be there all around the clock watching everything in your business and trying to give you other strategies mm. that we believe may be of help to your business do you also do financial well-being classes Absolutely. We okay. do have financial well-being classes, which so far we've reached over 5,000 people since we started. Nice. And this is done virtually as well on WhatsApp and on, via Zoom. Okay. Uh, these financial wellness classes, these are individuals who come. You can come as a group. If you have a chama, uh, this... Emperor Sheka. <laughs> it is Tujumuike Chama. This is where to go to. <laughs> yeah, if you have your Chama, don't just pull money together and then go for a party. Okay. At least you can do 50% party and then 50% do something with that money, make okay. it grow. Mm -hmm. And we also, um, apart from individuals and groups, we also do it for um, uh, community organizations mm. as well as churches. So you just don't go to church to... You know, <laughs> you have to also get the financial side of it so that you can right. be empowered mm -hmm. uh, holistically. Okay. Yes. So for people who want both the or both mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. the financial well-being classes mm -hmm. and entrepreneurship class, mm -hmm. how much and how, how and how much? Now that will depend for, but our minimum charges are 10,000 Kenya shilling, mm. but it also depends. For example, if it's for business, for sure you cannot charge you 10,000 because of what you are going to do in your business. Mm. But if it's an individual who is just trying to find themselves mm. in with their finances or build their relationship with okay. money, right. we can start from there. Okay. However, that shouldn't limit you mm -hmm. not to uh, reach out to us because uh, we want, we understand there are people who are like students. Maybe someone's a first year, they just came. 
uh, that's that's where we do have something like um, our YouTube channel mm -hmm. where we host uh, Wealth Wednesday shows mm -hmm. as well as upload videos there where someone can get mm -hmm. some of these uh, principles for mm -hmm. free. Yes. Right. Yeah. You said Wealth well, Wednesday. Wednesday. Wow. Yes. What a name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank Wealth you. Wealth Wednesday. Biashara Tuesday, Wealth Wednesday, Money Monday. Kila siku ni pesa tu. So, <laughs> if um, I get to, you know, listen to these financial well-being classes mm -hmm. that are free, right? On YouTube. Yeah, yes. And also uh, eventually come through to the other classes, mm -hmm. um, which are one-on-one -on -one or uh, with a group. I am... Um, looking forward to being a very uh, to, to setting myself on a path of financial well-being definitely yes you're saying, right? you are guaranteed to become money savvy mm -hmm. and financially healthy okay ha you won't have small small financial sicknesses <laughs> because <laughs> small small food is a problem <laughs> of course yeah you will not have such kind of things mm -hmm. and even if you have you know let me just touch base about debt because this is uh, debt has become an epidemic right. aside from covid-19 which is a pandemic mm -hmm. you know um we have good and bad debt mm -hmm. now we are not saying that financial wellness don't take debt mm -hmm. but we are telling you take debt to multiply money mm -hmm. don't take to consume uh the the debt don't right. take debt to buy pizza don't fuliza for pizza mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. at least fuliza and invest in money market funds and get an interest mm -hmm. then you can eat that interest if yeah. you wish to yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah right right definitely mm -hmm. thank you very much i know there's a lot that we can speak mm -hmm. um about yeah. however mm -hmm. uh this is uh around 9 30 in the morning and we have uh, quite a conversation that is coming up as well. So mm -hmm. uh, as we try and wrap up, mm -hmm. when personally mm -hmm. did you begin your own financial well-being journey? How long ago was that? Uh, that's, that's a very personal question, <laughs> but thank you for asking. <laughs> but yeah, me, for me personally, mm -hmm. I started earlier on because um, I, even my education was on that side. Ah, okay. Yes, of, uh, because I'm, in, and I, I'm an economist by profession. Okay. Now, when I started Financial Wellness Center, it's 2019, but I started my personal journey, I think I was maybe 16, because I, I did mm. business while well, in high school, oh, I did okay. my own business, All right. which of course collapsed here and there, and I needed <laughs> a lot of sponsorship from my family. Mm. And then um, I started like studying more about money, and mm. uh, I would say um, when I joined campus, I was very serious to know what is this money that makes people angry and others happy. All right. Yeah. You're parting shots to someone who is not taking financial well-being seriously or financial education. Mm -hmm. And for the businesses mm -hmm. that have uh, not uh, put their bookkeeping in order or are not really taking care of their finances, how can you tell them that this is a serious thing? <laughs> and uh, also to encourage them, of course, to ensure they're getting uh, financial well-being. Uh, I would say that money is a tool that can help or hurt you. Mm -hmm. Just the same way we have fire in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. If you use it correctly, you can make good uh, food. But if it's not used correctly, it can burn the whole house. Mm -hmm. The same with money. Mm -hmm. If you do not learn money principles, mm -hmm. it's, uh, there, there's a high chance of you being hurt by money. Okay. And how does money hurt you? I mentioned earlier that money can hurt you through being in excessive debt that you're not able to repay, being uh, not having an investment plan so your future is not secured, not being able to learn skills that can help you generate an extra income. Because you need money to make money, right? Right. So if you do not have a skill, or you can have the skill, but not, you do not know how to monetize it. So okay. you have the skill, but, but you are you poor. Ah. You know, you can be talented Quite and broke. Dilemma. You know? <laughs> talented and broke. <laughs> Man. Yeah, so that is why you need to learn about financial well-being. Mm -hmm. Because uh, especially if you attend our classes, we don't just focus on the money. Mm -hmm. We also focus on how can we monetize your skill. Okay. So that you can have more income to mm -hmm. do more. All right. So yeah. we'll be looking at uh, how they can reach you. But mm -hmm. for now... There's something interesting mm -hmm. also, because mm -hmm. um, you said I surprised you with a personal question. We're also going to do something else a little bit uh, personal. Mm -hmm. We are playing a game. It's okay. called Identify the Brand. And um, what we do here is uh, they, my producer, who is currently shouting behind the ears, but I can't hear him, so mm -hmm. I, I need to make him aware of that. However, mm -hmm. uh, as he tries to get to me, we're going to play a short game that is Identify the Brand, and they're going to show us 
to uh, they're going to show us here mm -hmm. uh, taglines for okay. brands okay. and then there's a timer that is going to come on the screen mm -hmm. five taglines and then you identify what company that is and then we will mark against each other and see who knows what so there goes your pen there goes your paper you can put the mic down and then we can kick it off with the timer right let's begin the first one your listening caring partner All right. Give me the sec. Give me the second one. All right. Next part of you from the start. Part of you from the start. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, we, have, we, have, we have a lot of time. That's a lot of time to think. I think we should reduce that to like 10 seconds. Ultimate driving machine. Who comes up with these things? Um, ultimate driving machine. Ultimate driving machine. 10 seconds. Ultimate driving machine. <laughs> okay. Fourth. Let's go. Next up. The best a man can get. Come on. <laughs> With money. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, the next, I think those are 10 seconds enough. Uh, power your dreams. Goodness gracious. Power your dreams. Any leakage behind the scenes? Any, anyone help me? Okay. <laughs> That's what we have. All right. So, um, I don't know how I'm. I don't know how I'm going to know uh, from my producer since I currently can't get him. I don't know how I'm going to know uh, what companies these are. So um, the first one. Ah, yeah, nice. It's on the screen. So the first one is equity. Um, let's 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 see. Let's see what she wrote. I'm a Safaricom. safari com. Your listening caring partner is safari com. <laughs> um, oh, all right. Yeah, I got it. Second one was. Um, Bamburi cement, part of you from the start. Okay, Nivilas Jajanga, my guys. Uh, she wrote myself, so she's part of herself from the start. That's the company she's representing. The third one, the ultimate driving machine. It's Bima, it's not Mercedes. Oh. Goodness, she wrote Toyota. Toyota. <laughs> and the last, uh, the fourth one, right? Fourth one. The best a man can get, Gillette, my God. Oh. I have to say, my high school uh, is called Bush, so I won't uh, go much into that. Fifth, power your dreams, Xbox. I'm not a gamer, oh, yeah. but she wrote Sanlam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. All right, get, 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 get your work, then we, uh, I think we can wrap up on that one. So that's the interesting bit. We're going to see what you guys got at home, if you are able to get any of those five brands. But your web people can get you for uh, social media and the guys who, the businesses and the people who need financial education. Just real quick on that camera. Yeah, if you'd want to be in touch with us, you can drop us an email, info at financialwellnesscenter.co.ke. You may also visit our social media platforms, that is Facebook, Financial Wellness Center, Instagram, Financial Wellness Center, as well as Twitter, Financial Wellness Center, and LinkedIn, Financial Wellness Center. We are also on YouTube, and that is Financial Wellness with Sheila Mboga. And you can as well send us um, a message via our Facebook page. All right. Yes. Financial Wellness Center. Make sure you check them out and be financially wealthy and healthy, right?